On today's episode of Homeworthy, we're bringing you inside Hannah Dahl's Barbie Paradise. Nestled in Los Angeles, Hannah's home is a pink dreamland filled with funky 80s memorabilia and Golden Girls-esque decor, including a carousel horse fondly named Priscilla. You can't help but have rose-colored glasses once inside. Enjoy! You're watching Homeworthy, where we believe every home has a story. Like and subscribe for more. Hi, Homeworthy. I'm Hannah. Welcome to my LA pink life-size dollhouse. Come on in. Hi, I'm Hannah Dahl, and this is my pink life-size dollhouse in Los Angeles that I created. Almost everything is pink inside this place. <laughs> I love pink. That's definitely like my favorite color will always be the base. Although I do love different colors and I love to experiment um, with all the colors. I love pastels. Anything that really screams Barbie could be kind of any color, but pink is the best color, of course. The inspiration for this specific space that I designed really was to build kind of this life-size fantasy dollhouse that I really wanted to incorporate my last name into, Doll, which is spelled D-A-H-L. And the inspiration kind of came from my childhood and wanting to really just like tap into healing my inner child and diving back into like nostalgia because I really love nostalgic time periods and anything from the past, like vintage Barbie was one of the main inspirations for this space. So yeah, I really just wanted to create a life-size dollhouse that kind of told my story and shared a bit of my personality through design. I love thrifting, antique hunting. I love vintage furniture. I find a lot of my pieces at estate sales, thrift stores, antique stores, um, Facebook Marketplace, <laughs> Etsy, eBay, OfferUp, all the fun reselling apps. I love to source secondhand. That's like one of my favorite things to do is find older style pieces of furniture that really aren't made anymore these days. And they just are so different and unique. Like you can't just go online and search on like Wayfair, like, oh, like pink velvet dining chairs. Like there's something about the older style of furniture that I just really love that is so unique that I gravitate towards. And um, something that this space in creating the, this specific dollhouse um, that kind of made me realize is I love to find, even if it doesn't necessarily have like the color that I love on the piece of fabric or like a pattern, I love to like reupholster them and make them more so me and give them character. Um, yeah, so anything vintage and antique is kind of what the space is filled with. Almost everything in here is secondhand. So now we're in the living room. This is kind of the front entrance of the dollhouse. And this is where I relax, come to read books. And yeah, I've kind of created this room very pink and whimsical. A lot of the objects in here are vintage and antiques. I found this um, vintage heart stool that I literally was obsessed with and I actually reupholstered it in this fabulous pink velvet. It's so cute. It has that like kitschy Barbie element to it that I just loved. This photo album is actually, I kind of collect them. It's weird. <laughs> I like gravitate towards finding them at the antique stores, but I think this is from the 80s. I love these so much. My mom used to make these like vintage photo albums for me and my sister growing up. So this kind of gave me that like nostalgic memory of my mom. And yeah, just a little personal touch. So the curtains that I designed, I really wanted to give off this like royal princess meets bubblegum Barbie vibe. And I kind of made them with like the 80s in mind, just like the ruffles and these like little um, valances. But I love how they just like frame this beautiful view of the courtyard. They're so fun and just like giving that 80s Barbie vibe. 
And then these chairs also that I found, they very much resemble, to me, weirdly, Pee Wee's Playhouse a little bit, which my mom, um, I don't know if I mentioned yet, but my mother designed the set of Pee Wee's Playhouse back in the 1980s. And these kind of gave like the talking Pee Wee's Playhouse chair energy that I was like, whoa, they feel very like nostalgic and childlike and animated. But I just love this whole like little moment over here. It's kind of like a little peaceful view into the courtyard. Makes you feel like a princess. <laughs> and over here we have Princess Priscilla, my little vintage carousel horse. She's so cute. I found her at an antique store about a year ago. Um, I stopped by one of my favorites in Southern Orange County and she was just like standing at the front of the store and right as I walked in, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have her. She's perfect, so fun. My mom told me a story of how, after I sent her a picture of this, she was like, oh my gosh, like you have to get that. When I was younger, she, um, would go to her friend's house for prom photos before prom. And they, she says that their parents would always make them take photos by the weird carousel horse at the front door. And she's like, you have to get that. It reminds me of that. I'm like, I know something about her is just so like whimsical and funny. But yeah, I thought that was super just fun. So this hutch is from the 1980s. It's one of the most unique vintage pieces I've ever seen in my life. A girl that sells vintage home decor um, and furniture actually reached out to me when I first found this place and was moving in. She said, oh my gosh, I found this piece that like, I feel like belongs in your new place. And she sent me a photo of this hutch and I was like, I need it. It's so cool. It gives like vintage Mattel Barbie space age meets Pee Wee's Playhouse. Like the shapes of it are just so cool. And uh, yeah. It came straight to my dollhouse. I love it so much because it's just so unique and it lights up. It kind of is like the nostalgic like disco champagne and candy bar. Um, I've kind of just placed all my like vintage cups and uh, little decorative pieces here. I have some little fake cakes that I love to like collect. Um, some friends have made some cakes too for this little candy bar here. This gal made these specific ones. I found her on Etsy and she has a store and custom makes these by hand and adds like little flower and pearl details. And I feel like one of like the most like biggest inspirations I have is like candy and frosting and cakes and just any kind of whimsical food. And I just love that they're fake so they last forever. <laughs> These are some of the Barbies that I collect. <laughs> I actually, um, I got this one for my 27th birthday that I had here, the first year I moved into the dollhouse. My girlfriend uh, customized this Barbie doll with the tattoos that I have. There's a little B on the back of this arm, which I have right here. And then on this arm, it says all my loving, which I have right here. I thought that was so cute. I love like personal touches on things. A lot of the furniture um, that I've collected and found and curated really resembles Golden Girls. And I get that a lot. People are like, oh my gosh, this brings me back to watching that show. I'm like, oh, I just love like feeling like you're in like a nostalgic part of like your life. Something that gives you that sense of old from before, like the past. One of my favorite pieces that I found was actually the sofa. Uh, when I first moved in, I was looking for a sofa that would fit on this wall and I it was taking me so long to find because I was like I want to find something really unique and I found this sofa online on Facebook marketplace it was originally orange with white polka dots <laughs> and I was like okay I love the shape the shape just has this cool like inviting like it's almost hugging you I feel like there's just like so many different shape features to it that I loved but the fabric was like, okay, I gotta go. I gotta do something about this. And yeah, I found this fabric that has these little bows and roses. And this was one of the first things that I actually reupholstered and started my whole reupholstering journey. And I just felt like this fabric felt so me and I loved the character in it. And yeah, it's just kind of the place where I love to relax and kind of take in the whole living room and read books. 
So I get that question a lot. I love pink. It's favorite color, base color for life, but I do wear different colors. I feel like I've been on this like, it's crazy because when you do live in an all pink space, you tend to gravitate towards like matching your home. And that's just something I love to do is like dress up on theme to things. So for a while I was wearing like all pink all the time, but I'm kind of in this like self discovery portion of my life where I want to dress up in different colors and kind of like Barbie, she wears different colors, but pink's always her base. It's fun to like experiment and like black pops so well in here and white and purple. So love pink, but open to all the colors. My story of what I do, before the pandemic, I actually uh, went to school for interior design. That was my major. I graduated um, with a bachelor's degree in interior design in 2018 from SDSU. I worked at an interior design firm and I kind of fell out of love with interior design just for a little bit, kind of during the pandemic when I was feeling a little lost and was, wasn't inspired anymore. I was like, what do I want to do? I, I don't know, something just didn't feel right at the time. And I started to, during the pandemic, just collecting vintage home decor and rearranging it, doing little picnics and tea parties outside. And I started to sell some of the pieces that I was arranging and making little vignettes and creating little worlds out of. People started to gain an interest in the products that I found. And um, I started selling them. I kind of had like a vintage home decor selling business and it kind of bloomed into picking up like Instagram jobs with content creation. I am a part-time freelance social media manager. I uh, make content for brands. I collaborate with artists and would do photo shoots. And once I came to this place, it kind of just all flourished and so many different things happened. So I do a lot of different creative jobs <laughs> at the moment, but I really do, want to get back into touch with my interior design passion and I think that's kind of the direction that I'm heading in next. And now we're entering the dining room, aka the tea party room. This fabulous archway just like frames it so beautifully. I loved like the shape this like round kind of arch and how there's this really unique vintage faux nook in this wall that really like screamed to me like, oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing ever. I feel like this is like the little gossip section. Like I always love to imagine back in the day, whoever lived here before me, like years and years ago, would like actually use the landline and the phone and make some calls and have some gossip time. But yeah, I found a lot of the pieces in this dining room. It's weird, like the dining table is this beautiful vintage 80s lacquered dining table and it's in the shape almost of the same archway that I thought was like so so cool how things kind of just like fell into place here. But yeah, I really wanted to design it as this like Alice in Wonderland tea party shabby chic Barbie dining area and this is kind of probably one of my favorite rooms. I feel like it's where you have dinner with friends, you drink wine or champagne with friends and light the candles and make it just like a very memorable experience in here. I always feel like the dining room or the room that you eat in with your family and friends is kind of the most memorable that you create all those memories in. I found all the little details in here that had like little flowers and wanted to mimic that with like the flowers and some of the decorative pieces and the teacups. And I think my favorite pieces in here would be these pink velvet dining chairs. I actually found these at an estate sale before I even found this apartment. I was living with my parents um, in Orange County and I was looking for an apartment in LA but I hadn't quite found the one yet. And funny story, I found an estate sale that had these dining room chairs and my bedroom set, which I'll show you in just a little bit. I saw them at an estate sale in Florida, <laughs> out of the state, across the country, and like it was happening in like three days. And I was like, oh my gosh, I've never found 
anything like these pieces before. They're so unique and beautiful, and I'm so inspired. I have to go get them. I don't have anywhere to put them, but I just know that it's like my purpose in life is to get these pieces right now. <laughs> so I actually packed everything up, coordinated moving trucks. Within like three days, we made it over to Florida, secured the furniture, and within that time that I had arranged to get the furniture from Florida back to California, I was like, okay, I have one month to find this apartment to put everything in because I don't know where it's gonna go. <laughs> so it was my motivating factor to find a place and settle in. And yeah, they all ended up here and I just felt like they fit this room so perfectly. So the chandelier actually came with the place. Um, I decided one night, I think it was before my birthday party, I was kind of decorating with these like faux flowers and pearls. And a friend came over and we just started placing the flowers and draping the pearls over the chandelier and just like going crazy at it. And it really like became this like art piece that I love to look at. It just felt like everything kind of makes sense. Like all the little details are everywhere. I've always loved Barbie ever since I was a little kid. I loved miniatures more so. I loved, I had this fascination with like little dolls and little mini animals. I don't know if you remember Calico Critters. I was obsessed with. I had a whole Calico Critter dollhouse, a Barbie dollhouse. I love to like collect like the furniture pieces and just like move them around little rooms. And I think it was just like a little fantasy thing for me as a little girl. And I, as I grew up, I loved to kind of take that and utilize it into my own life and start rearranging my own furniture pieces and painting my walls different colors as a little kid, like experimenting with different styles and colors my whole life and just realizing dolls can, the idea of like a dollhouse and being a doll, you can be anything you wanna be, just like Barbie, <laughs> and you can arrange your furniture in any way you want to and pick out pieces that embody you and represent kind of just like your own fantasy fairy tale. And the pink continues into the kitchen. Over here, this is what I love to call my little fairy tale kitchen. It's tiny, but it gives like very enchanting fairy tale vibes. Like I loved just the like old charm of these windows and these cabinets. It feels like it's straight out of a storybook fairy tale. And these curtains, I really like wanted to bring in the like princess bubblegum 80s style in here. So designing these curtains was super fun. They're very like voluptuous. I have multiple fake cakes in here. <laughs> the fake cakes continue too. I have this adorable one. So it's actually a cake clock. This girl makes them and she sells them on Etsy. I found this and was like, oh my gosh, this is so like Barbie Alice in Wonderland tea party. It's so cute and the little lace details on it. Anything cake, lace, pearls, flowers in love with. And of course had to have all pink smeg appliances. <laughs> I love, love, love the retro feel of them. They're so cool. Like it feels very 50s like space age. Um, my dream is to have a pink smeg fridge. I like would love to have like a complete kitchen just filled with all pink smeg or pink appliances. And then over here, I made this cute little press for champagne art piece. <laughs> I love to just like imagine when you press this button, someone just like pops out with a glass of champagne. It's so like the royal princess treatment of your fairy tale. And then over here, we have this adorable, this is like one of the architectural features that I loved about this place. It's like this old little nook with these little tiny shelves. And so I decided to display some of my vintage um, little teacups and trinkets. I actually have some of these mugs that my cousin, another doll, she makes these. And she made these custom ones for my shop when I used to sell vintage home decor. So I've kind of just displayed them here along with some other little miniature things. <laughs> my miniature infatuation. 
yeah, this is my little tea section of the kitchen. And I also have this like adorable vintage secretary desk that I've kind of, when I was doing a lot of photo shoots here, I would kind of hang out over here and open this up and do some work in here. It like just makes you feel like you're like back in the day, like at a desk instead of like sitting on the couch on your phone. You feel more official at this little charming section. And now the star of the house is the bedroom. This is my favorite room in this dollhouse. It's kind of like where my crazy imagination came to life. I feel like I wanted to feel like a little kid in this room again, kind of like at your grandma's house with the pink carpet. It just feels so nostalgic. Uh, like this giant teddy bear, she like, I named her Honey. <laughs> this is Honey. She is one of my favorite toys here. She's just so cute. It makes you feel like you're a little doll in like your life-size dollhouse. Had to have a giant teddy bear. Same with a giant bow over the bed. I thought adding a bow above your bed would be so fun. You feel like a little kid again. I just love incorporating like the same elements kind of consistently throughout the house. So one giant bow to top everything off was super fun. Over on my bed, we have another animal. This is Marie. She's a little cat. She also has a little bow on her. Found her at an estate sale. <laughs> So she's quite the older one out of the animals, but yeah, I love to collect life-size animals. Fake ones. <laughs> but um, this bedroom furniture set is actually the pink bedroom set that I found in Florida when I went to those estate sales I was mentioning earlier with the pink velvet dining chairs. I saw this bedroom set and instantly thought of vintage Mattel Barbie furniture. I actually collect like the Barbie furniture and it just felt very like space age, retro, plastic with the lacquer. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so Barbie. I need it. And it all kind of fit in this room perfectly. It came with those two nightstands, the bed, this amazing armoire. It very, it's like very Golden Girls. Loved it all. The vanity over here, I love this like princess moment. It feels like you're getting ready to go to a ball or just getting ready to take your photos back in the day. I feel like this is where you come do your makeup, you uh, do your hair. It's just very like um, nostalgic. Like I wanted it to feel very almost like you're in like a princess castle. This TV, I actually found it's vintage from the 1980s. It actually, it still kind of works. It turns on. Takes a second. It's so fun. I'm obsessed and it's pink, so had to get it. It doesn't play anything. If it had an antenna, I think you could maybe actually get it fixed. I haven't done that yet, but I think if you put an antenna in it, it should work. But yeah, this is the only TV I have in this house. I don't actually have any big TVs, which is why my boyfriend could never live here. <laughs> but yeah, I usually watch TV from my laptop, so this is more so a prop, but it's so cool and unique. I just love it. It literally feels like it's from the 1980s, so it gives you that nostalgic feeling. This is kind of my creative expression space. Um, a lot of photo shoots happen here, so it's hard to really like fully live in with someone else when it has to be kind of like picture perfect at all times. He loves the space. He thinks it's so cool and is so proud and supportive. But it's, yeah, it's kind of like my big pink toy. <laughs> One of my favorite pieces of clothing in this room is actually this robe that I got. It really matched the energy of the room. It has these amazing pink fluffy sleeves and it just feels very like old Hollywood glam Madonna. This is like what I'll wear if I'm getting ready. It's so fun. Makes you feel like you're back in like a boudoir day. 
Yeah, I love like the pink satin. It just kind of feels like it has the same um, style as the vanity. Like it's very bourgeois princess, old Hollywood glam. A lot of people will come in here and their eyes <laughs> kind of just open up and pop and get so large. And I love like seeing people's facial expressions when they walk in here because this isn't like your ordinary home that seems you know, livable, like a regular environment with white walls and really modern furniture, which I do appreciate and love. This is more of like a fantasy fairy tale land that kind of, I love to give inspiration and people just a little glimpse into a creative outlet, something that inspires other people and makes them feel like they're experiencing something unusual and different. But a lot of people have pretty positive, whimsical, crazy reactions. Like, oh my gosh, like this is so pink. <laughs> what I love the most about this space is that I feel always inspired in it. And I feel like in a weird way, sharing my personal style has created this community that I didn't really expect to happen with just sharing it with other people and inviting other people into my space to kind of see my imagination and my designs in real life. Um, people have just opened up to me and have been inspired when they come in here and they go, wow, like this is bringing me back to my childhood. And like they're like, they'll just tell me stories of how like, they haven't been feeling inspired and this will like tap into that like void or something that they've been feeling and that really made me just fall in love with design and sharing like a little creative world with other people is just being able to relate and make that connection. So this is the bathroom, still incorporating the pink, but it has this beautiful pop of yellow with this vintage tile that came with it. I just love that it still had the original character of the 1920s and it just pops so well with the pink. I feel like it's like a Barbie dream bathroom. And I wanted to put like a little grandma chic pink toilet seat cover on the toilet. It feels so nostalgic and just like you're in like a 1980s magazine of like a pink carpeted bathroom from back in the day. Yeah, and then over here I made these custom curtains that just really felt like added the Princess Barbie touch to this space. And yeah, this is where I get ready and just feel like a little doll in this bathroom. A little home decor DIY in an apartment rental, renter friendly. There's actually this like blue and green floral tile underneath these pink stickers. They're actually stick on tiles. I found a gal on Etsy that custom makes these. Any custom color, custom sizes, you give her the dimensions, she'll make it. And I wanted to cover them in pink because I felt like the blue and green was really pretty, but it just didn't feel quite right. I had to incorporate some kind of pink in here. So I covered all of those tiles with these pink stickers and they just come off. So whenever you're ready to take them off, you just peel them off. Renner friendly hack. Home means somewhere that you feel comfortable in and that you're inspired by and you create memories in. Thanks for watching. For more homeworthy content, be sure to like and subscribe.